July 1st, 2013. All right, this day in history, so 150 years ago, uh, the Civil War here in the States were going on. And uh, the one particular on this day, July 1st, uh, the next three days, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, was the Gettys Gettysburg one. It was a uh, as noted the bloodiest one. I think uh, they say that one in four soldiers, a combination of both sides, uh, were injured or hurt or died. So I think they estimated 46,000 men were injured or killed during that during that episode. And you can imagine three three days of fighting, so getting up and fighting all day, and break and rest at night, and getting up and fighting again all day, rest awake at night, get up and fighting again for three days until one side finally gives up. And and again, um, what I was hearing on the radio was that um, the, up to that point, the South and uh, the North had not won a uh, distinctive battle. Uh, we were kind of uh, losing at that point. And it was kind of the turning turning point because uh, uh, the South were, was rising and, and really wanted to march in. They really thought that if they could march into the Northern Territories, and, and win a few more battles that the tide uh, settlement would turn uh, to, to quit to quit the war they gave up. They really wanted to march in, march into uh, to Washington there, take Washington, and that uh, just wasn't wasn't going to happen. But uh, and, and you think three three days that's just, that's just one of many battles. Three days compared to. Uh, like the first uh, first world war, which was uh, as they say fought in the trenches, hand to hand combat, that went on for seven years, uh, and that was over in Europe. Uh, but uh, here in this in this continent, besides our you know founding and and uh, different wars that we had with our neighboring, uh, and this was really the, the biggest bloodiest uh, human. Um, American tragedy of all the soldiers' lives lost. And again, uh, when you think of uh, what this com country stands for, I think uh, we should pay a little bit of respect hidden into the fourth that, uh, that we fought uh, for rights, liberties, and freedoms. And uh, what, how different this country would be if, if the South had a won, or if we had come to a standstill and, and divided and became two separate separate nations, like a lot of the uh, countries do. There's different ones that that stay uh, separate. They just don't uh, just uh, divide divide and never never uh, regain that uh, whole wholeness as well as one. So, yeah, interesting to hear about that, uh, Gettysburg, Gettysburg, I did Gettysburg. I think after that, uh, that we did win, is when, uh, Lincoln gave his Gettysburg address, because there were so many, uh, so much loss of life. I think that's when they opened, uh, started setting a national, uh, national, um, uh, places to bury, to bury, very it was just too 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 hard to move that many dead soldiers back uh, to do so you had to just put them put them in the ground put them in the ground there uh, again one of the things they talked about was was the weather uh, being you know, first part of July uh, they were saying and I remember my uh, mother came up and went up to Fort Snelling and it was hot in the middle of summer and she got to, you know, on the ill side. Because it was it was pretty hot, but I remember putting on one of those. Uh, they said the clothing the clothing was uh, for the uh, for the, uh, the the northerns there. They had you know more thicker, heavy duty. Uh, and I put one of those jackets on, and it was it was really thick and heavy. And, and uh, they said you know they marched like 30 miles 
in their, in their clothing and, and wearing their gear until they got into the battle, so they was pretty well worn, worn down. So I could imagine how hot and miserable and, and uh, what that would have took out of you before, you know, marching into battle. So, uh, interesting. Uh, history is interesting when we look back. Hopefully uh, we learn from these, from these things, but uh, 150 years ago, uh, I think Civil War is an uh, uh, interesting, interesting topic of the times that I've seen specials and, and watched that uh, always seem to be uh, more, more personal uh, for some reason. I'm going to leave a song. I think I played this before when I talked about the Civil War. Uh, called Civil War by Guns N' Roses. And they did a song and, and it talks about I don't want to fight your Civil War. And uh, it's very, uh, very good moving, moving song. Uh, watching the young men dying. You know, what, watching the mothers crying. So there's just a lot of, a lot of loss. And you lose uh, all your young men in uh, different wars and battles. I mean, even just uh, the recent ones that we went through here. And uh, not really, you know, high casualties, but still losing, uh, losing the young ones um, when they go off on these uh, these battles. We lo we lose them. Uh, it's just uh, tough, tough. So, 1991, uh, the song came out. But uh, done done really well. You they, know, playing the rock and roll, but uh, also you mellow it out. It's good. July, another right month. Here we go. Our first twenty. 